Hey, I'm Neil from Hornady. With me is Ken Anderson from Nordic Components. We're at the Midwest 3-Gun Match here in Missouri, and all the shooters here received a PMAG and a Nordic Components PMAG extension in their shooter uh, packages that they received when they, when they started the match. Ken's going to talk to us a little bit about how to correctly install the PMAG extension on the magazine. Thanks, Neil. It's pretty simple. Uh, PMAG is an excellent magazine to use. Only thing you need sometimes at these matches for big stages is some extra rounds. Our extension will add 17 to 18 rounds to the PMAG extension, giving you 47 to 48 rounds to use. Installation is very simple and quick. Um, our kit comes basically with two plastic extension halves. It comes with a 16th inch Allen wrench and all the new kits and five screws. So you'll have an extra one if you lose one or drop one. Um, basically all you do is disassemble the PMAG, pull out the factory spring follower, and have to remove the factory spring, just pull that off the follower, take the extended spring that we include with our kit and install it the same way the other one came out. get the factory follower put on the new spring. Now we recommend to allow an easy transition when it passes through our extension into the PMAG. It's usually not a problem but that you bevel the inside edge around here. File off a of Leatherman works good. Just get in there and just rough up that, just break that edge. Put a little chamfer on there. You can do it with a Dremel. Do it with a file, whatever you have handy. If you have a deburring tool, just to get rid of that sharp edge. Once you've got that edge broke, nice and smooth around there. You can install the PMAG extension onto the PMAG. You do not have to torque it down uh, and you don't need any Loctite on these screws. You just hold the short end of the, Al of the Allen wrench that will put this on plenty tight. Check all four screws, make sure they're secure. Pulling the short end will, will make that uh, plenty tight enough on there. There will be a little wiggle, it'll fit uh, the latest uh, two generations of the PMAGs. The early uh, generation where the window was a little narrower and it fits the new wider window one also. Just install the factory follower and spring. Push the factory floor plate back on, and you're ready to go. 47 to 48 rounds on your PMAG. That's great. Uh, match went well for you. Uh, you're That's using bad. Hornady ammo. And, Absolutely. Uh, tell us a little bit about which bullets you use for this type of match, and uh, um, what kind of preparation you, you do. Um, I use, I've gone to using the Hornady 75 grain uh, boat tail hollow points. I shoot a one and eight inch, uh, one and eight inch twist barrel. I find that that bullet groups very well and holds consistent. Uh, I use a JP reticle ACOG and the uh, MOA adjustments on that scope are right on for me from 100 to um, 500 yards. I've even hit the bonus plates at 600 at matches with that. Um, I love the Hornady 75s. I use 68s also if I'm not shooting much past four or 500 at a match, but the 75s hold real well in the wind. Yeah, yeah, great. Well, you did great at this match, and uh, thanks for sharing this information with us. Thank you, Neil. All right, thanks. Thank